Guess what? I have a spider under my car problem again. In fact, there's multiple spiders. This spider problem is presenting like the dreaded redback spider because of the way the spider web is under the car. These spiders are being reclusive in areas under the car and this type of spider problem can be very difficult and frustrating to fix. To solve this problem I need to carefully study the spider infestation and wonder if these spiders are playing mind games with me. Okay, let's do it. And let's not forget that stupid warning. Warning. The warning on this video has been removed and this video is highly educational. Ah uh, yes, uh, I've got a spider problem and, well, put it this way, they lived a life of luxury underneath my Mercedes-Benz that I'll be selling very soon. This is about the fourth time the Redbacks have decided to set up home base around the Merc and the problem area is down under there. This is a bit of a tricky one. I've marked out in the ground uh, roughly where the spider sets up its drop down lines. I tend to lose them every day. If something comes through here, it might be the cat. Uh, but the lines tend to get broken, but the spider is living somewhere up there. Uh, very dodgy camera move that one, wasn't it? That's looking at the, the rear of the rear wheel. And if I go across like this, I believe that plastic covered member there of the suspension is where the spider is residing. In particular, this end here, but I might be totally wrong. There's a shock absorber there and the rear suspension spring and if I pull focus close to the camera we should be able to see some of the red back spiders web traversing across frame there. I'm just noticing that's the sort of thing the spider would have captured if that critter was here let's say at night time and the drop down lines were set. So that's how the trap works and well the spiders missed out on this one but the spider knows that critters like this are getting about. To try and find out what's going on under here, I set up one of those wonderful Arlo cameras. They're really a security system, but I use them for other things. It's fantastic for seeing things at night, but to see this activity, I need to press record. It needs to be plugged into the mains. It is a wireless feed camera. Last night I missed it because the spider well, did its work around midnight. I'd fallen asleep. And by the time I looked back on the camera, about 1.30 in the morning, all the webs were set. And basically, unless something's caught in the web, you won't see the spider again. I'm hoping tonight I'll be able to get the action. I'm just noticing something up there forward of the wheel. Let me take a look. Okay, that's the rear wheel. And if I just go forward of that, oh, crikey, Charlie's, uh, there's red back activity there. It seems like another red back is set up here. Uh, definitely red back spider web. And I'll bring the camera down nice and slowly. You'll see the drop down lines connecting down there with the concrete. And crikey, there's a little bug there that the red backs have, well, it could be something they've sucked to nothing or they missed out last night. Just looking up under the car there, that's one of the jacking points at the rear of the car. It's the perfect little reside for a redback. Lots of little nooks and crannies to get into there. Nice and warm during the day, redback paradise in an expensive way. What I'll do is I'll mark out the area where the drop down lines is. So that gives me a reference point that I know to keep coming back to. I'm thinking that's a different spider to the one that's presenting at the back. And as I'm looking here, guess what? I've just found another spot here. There's more drop down lines in this area here. I'm just trying to focus on them there and I'll ramp up to the car. So this could be yet another spider under this car. And just tracking along here, this is about midway along the car between the front and the rear door. Yes, that's definitely another red back spider nest. Lovely. That's the view looking back towards the rear wheel and the other nests. Yes, there's red back spider web everywhere. And with this third area, like the other areas, I'm going to mark out where the drop down lines are because this helps me when I want to set up a camera and I know where the action is going to happen. I hope. And the thing that's very important to do is to clear out all this web, get the spiders working again to set up all their drop down lines and riffraff. The problem for me is how am I going to deal with this? This is to me feeling like it needs a big chemical solution, like the whole car needs to be dipped in spidey spray. And I'm up the back of the car and I'm just getting rid of some of that web there. Again, I'm trying to get the spider to do as much work as possible uh, if it comes out again. And I think it will. I'm actually thinking of putting a little bit of sugar down in the area where the spider's been setting up its drop down lines just to entice some ants here. Just to get my head around what's going on along the side of the car here with those other web areas. I do have in my hot hand another Arlo camera. 
Like the back camera, I've just used some electrical tape and some blue tack, and I need to get it up off the deck because the power cable on these goes downwards. And I will just set it up in that direction. It's got a nice wide angle, like really wide from these cameras. And hopefully I'll be able to get both that position there and also that position up there. This will be camera four of my system and I'll just turn it on there. And to get the live preview updated, I'll just press that there. It should be connecting. I hope it's going to work for me. Okay, there is a view that it's seeing under the car. And then what I can do, and I've got the audio turned down, is to get a massive sort of audio loop as I can adjust it. Uh, to get everything that I want. I'm happy with that position there and I've set some blue tack on the ground to stop it from moving around. I've just moved that camera around this way a bit. I think those two spiders there are fairly small redbacks. The one that I'm really interested in in capturing what's going on here is the redback spider that's working this area here. I believe that is a much larger spider. This is a live preview that I'm seeing through my phone. Uh, the area that I'm really interested in is this member here and that area around there. I believe the spider is residing around there but the other area that I'm really curious about is the zone down here and I can zoom in on this. When I'm recording this I can have a very nice close look at what's going on here and that's where the drop down lines will be set but that is the frame that I've set up for what is camera 3. I love this system. We've had a rat problem. I've got a camera set up on a rat cage there. I've got a third one to catch being very menacing to catch. Uh, that's that frame there of camera three we've just spoken about. And of course there's camera four looking along the side of the car. So now it's about me being awake at the right time to press the record button to hopefully capture these spiders setting up their webby traps underneath my lovely car. Okie dokie, it's the next day. There is a confirmation of three redback spiders uh, actively working on my car here. And yes, well, well, last night was sort of successful and unsuccessful. I am going to come in and deal with the smallest spider, which is residing here in this video. Uh, I think we'll have to split the video because I need to understand more about this spider here. I know exactly where it's living, but I want to get better video of it setting up its web and also want to get a uh, better video of the spider which I believe is the biggest one setting up its web underneath there. This is the uh, area at the rear of the car. There's not much room to work here. Uh, the new drop down lines are, are all streaming down through here and I'll have to draw in a new area because what's happened here is the spider's actually moved its web across this way a bit and there's new drop down lines uh, through here. Oh crikey, I shouldn't touch them, the thing might come down and pounce me. So the markings actually come right out to here. It's almost that cement line there is part of it and across through there now. I did put the sugar down in this area here. Uh, it will attract ants today but what I will do is rub out this line here. This doesn't really play in the equation anymore. And I'll also get rid of the drop down lines that were set last night. So the spider will have to come along and do it all again. So that redback spider is still very much in play. Let's talk about another spider. We've got two more to talk about. And that is a spider that is living in that position there. That's the area I marked out in pencil and thank goodness I did because it's exactly where the spider has set up its drop down lines. You know, this spider wanted to play, well, play games with me. It was there, I could see it, but I'm, well, I'm not staying up all night to watch these spiders do their dirty work. It must have done it something like two, three or four o'clock in the morning. I never saw it. This spider, and it's not a small one, resides in the jacking point of the car. It's right in the middle of the screen there. Oh yes, I've seen it, but I haven't seen it set up as drop down lines because, well, it's smarter than me, but I want to keep this spider here. And I want to see it set up these drop down lines because it's in a beautiful box section. I think it'd be a fantastic thing to capture via those Arlo cameras. I'm just stupidly going to bring the camera in and against the drop down lines here. And I'm going to look right up inside where that spider is residing. It's like black spider against black part of the car, isn't it? Very hard to tell what's going on up there. So like the spider at the back of the car, I'm going to take away all the drop down lines here. The spider has to do the work all over again. Poor Spidey. Okay, that was well spider number two. We're going to move up to spider number three, which is residing about midway along the car. Uh -huh -huh, I believe this is a smaller spider. Yes, I captured this one doing its drop down lines with the Arlo cameras, although it was sort of a distant thing. And it did reveal to me, I, I think it's a smaller spider. Uh, I'm just showing you the footage, I hope, now. And you can see it doing its upsies and downsies. 
it's not very clear maybe I won't show for too long but I was doing this at about midnight and it worked for about an hour the setup what was quite an extensive bit of web work so that was my penciled in area there on the ground it actually traverses outside that a bit crikey there's a spider was busy doing this work and of course it goes up to the car and when things hit those down lines and trigger it well the spider tends to get very excited and just like the other two spider zones I'm going to take out all the drop down lines here then I'm going to do a very very careful spray under the car spidey spray okay here is my plan I put a box with a pool noodle here so when I do the chemical spray in this zone here I'm not taking out the spider that resides in that jacking point which is just there uh, I've got my spidey spray which is the Coles multi I can't afford the, the good stuff anymore and the, the chemical people don't talk to me I got my white cardboard here and I put this in here so we can see the spider when it drops that is if it drops and that's the problem with this uh, doing it like this and the good old Coles multi is nice and cheap uh, don't forget to give it a shake before you use it that's very important we're about to uh, we'll try and get this baity and it's going to be very hard to video and spray accurately at the same time but I'll try okay I'm going to try and pump in as much as I possibly can uh, without affecting the other spidey and then it's a waiting game to see uh, whatever drops down and that's the part I don't like oh no uh, I've just taken out a good spider my crikeys that is a grey house spider I'm sure it is we'll have a good look at it when it's dropped it was presenting exactly like a red back that is very disappointing the spider's just dropped to the paper there I'll just grab it and get it out from under the car I'm having a nice close look at that spider I've even got my little tweezers here Oh, I'm pretty sure that is a grey house spider um, sometimes an immature red bat can look a little bit like this but the stripy legs there and everything man that web was set up just like a red back identical that is astonishing and from what I can work out these spiders are my friends uh, where these spiders set up red backs can't set up <laughs> And you sort of think, well, it's better the devil you know versus the devil you don't know. But I think these guys are a spider that I've got to promote. I'm hoping that everyone who saw the way the web structure was set up from the spider would agree with me. It was just like you see a redback spider do. Near identical, yet uh, this isn't a redback spider. That was a bit of a surprise. That's uh, certainly a surprise to me. Uh, I don't know what lessons I'll learn from this. And I will keep this spider because there are two more spiders to get from this vehicle yet. And that'll be in another video. Well, I'll start pulling this apart. I hope I haven't killed uh, the other spiders here. And you're probably thinking, well, how do you know the other spiders are redbacks and not the grey house spider? Well, I have seen one of them. And um, that's the, the, the spider at the back of the car. Uh, but my gut feeling is a spider that is here is a redback. <laughs> Although I might be totally wrong. I will come along and reset the Arlo cameras, turn them back on so they're doing things uh, and I have repositioned the one at the back here uh, to do its thing. The lights are not on at night time, they've got like their own little nighttime sensors and I'm just hoping I haven't dropped any spiders when I um, did the spider spray there. No, I think they're still active in the car. So the equation now stands at this and I hope I'm correct here, we've got two redback spiders to deal with on the car. But during last night's shenanigans, there was also another problem playing out in the backyard. Ah uh, yes, it's one thing to have a spider problem. I, I can sort of deal with that, but having a rat issue uh, is more tricky to deal with from what I've found out. And I'm, that is trying to deal with it in a humane way. I'm up to capturing the third rat, which has been around our place. So I've probably got like 50 of them. And people say if you see one rat, well there's 50 others behind it. Uh, rats are very smart. I can see this rat is very stealthy and very smart. It's been able to empty out this uh, rat capturing device totally last night and somehow it didn't trigger it. Now I watched very carefully. I do believe it's starting to use its back legs a lot and reaching in and getting the food. Uh, it took a long time to actually entice this rat to start using this, uh, this cage. It was very wary. Maybe it could smell the scent of the other rats that I'd captured in this. Maybe it meant to wash them out or whatever. But it's finally taking the bait in a sense. And what I've done is I've re-triggered this to be a lot more sensitive. So it takes basically, you know, a feather will trigger it, I'm hoping. 
But seeing the rat enter this out last night, um, astonishing. It did remind me of just how annoying and time consuming it can be to be humane when trying to capture these critters. Uh, normally I'd set up a bucket with some sort of gangplank and it would basically fall into the water and, you know, kapuffo. But sadly, well, these days we're humane, aren't we? Hey, we just treat everything with respect and, well, we let them breed on and take over the planet. Anyway, that has been the other little issue that went on last night uh, while that the poor old grey house spider was setting up its lovely nest. I needed that spider uh, because from what I can work out, those spiders actually drive out the redbacks. But crikey, why do they love my car so much? Man, that stupid Mercedes-Benz has had the most redbacks than of any, any of the cars we've had, and that's something that's uh, starting to really worry me. Mind you, it won't worry me for too much longer because I'm getting rid of that car after that very, very dodgy service I had. Uh, yes, well, maybe go and watch the video before I get into another rant. Right up the end of one of the recordings I did from the rear of the car. The cameras will only record for half an hour on a press to record, and these spiders are too small to trigger the sensor to basically auto-record. I have captured the spider. Uh, it's on the very corner of frame, and I need to come back and well, basically get this happening in the middle of frame. What I'm seeing there, well, I don't think this is a redback. This could be one of the major scientific revelations of this video. I said the word scientific there, the YouTube demonetization bot. I hope you heard it. And uh, yes, once I get some good footage of the last two spiders on this car, uh, that will be part two. And I think it's going to be very interesting to see the way these spiders operate in the darkness of night.